Hi, my name is Renato Ambrosio from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and I'm excited at the ESCRS meeting this year because we have the launching of the Corvus. The Corvus is a very interesting biomechanical and IOP measurement tool because we can see the cornea deforming through the measurement of the air puff. This is going to be a very important tool for our clinical practices because we will be able to screen better for ectasia risk and also to understand intraocular pressure in a better way that we have never done before. The first measurements that we have done about three years ago were really interesting because we could get information about the cornea that we never had before. This information will lead us to improve our screening process for ectasia risk and also will give us more information about eventually glaucoma progression and other clinical situations that we even don't know about. With the Corvus, we can get information about the corneal deformation. And this information gives us a very complex situation because we have many metrics and we have to understand how these metrics are related to the intraocular pressure. In a multidisciplinary effort, the brain was created to improve our understanding on the deformation characteristics of the cornea. The brain is a Brazilian international artificial intelligence group that we can combine many metrics in relation to what we want to see and we could get a combination value of the deformation and about the intraocular pressure and corneal thickness parameters from the Corvus measurement that we could improve our separation of the normal patients the form through conus and the patients with conus. And this has led us to a higher level of sensitivity and specificity to screen patients for ectasia risk. The first experiment that we did using a contact lens was very interesting because we know that the cornea influences the intraocular pressure measurement. But now we know that the intraocular pressure also influences the cornea deformation. So we have to understand the intraocular pressure to understand the cornea deformation. This is very important in the clinical setting because if you have, for example, a keratoconus with high intraocular pressure, the cornea deformation may look like the cornea is stronger. So we have to understand intraocular pressure and the Corvus gives us the ability to understand that issue.